Hello everyone, so these are the stock pedals on my Trek Roscoe 7. They're just plastic ones with molded pegs, no screw in pegs, so and they're not very tall pegs at all either. They're kind of just basic general generic pedals as you'd find on most bikes from the start. So today we will be changing out the pedals on my new bike. And the pedals we're going with are on Trager line elite pedals. They're composite pedals with um, screw in um, pegs. So hopefully these will be able to grip into my shoes better. Now, just like any other project, you're going to want to have safety materials with you. So you want to have a pair of safety goggles, a pair of gloves, because you do have to deal with grease in this. So you don't want that all over your hands all day. So I recommend a pair of nice gloves just so you can keep that off you. You're going to need either a pedal wrench or a crescent wrench. You'll need just... I'm using this whole grease gun. You don't really need it. I just have this laying around. So I'm going to use this to, disp to dispense the grease. And then, of course, you'll need pedals to change onto your bike. So step one with this is to remove the old pedals. So the way that pedals work is they are actually... I think this drive side, drive side is the side with the chain ring, um, and hold drive train, I guess, but this side is, I think, just normal, yeah, so righty, tidy, lefty, loosey, and the other side is going to be actually reverse threaded from that, so the other side is going to be righty, loosey, lefty, tidy, which sounds kind of weird to say. But that's how it is, just so that the pedals don't over tighten themselves while you're riding. And then you'll be able to change them out eventually. But that was very easy to take off. Pedal number one is off. All right. And then the next pedal is out here on the other side. It's the same exact thing that I just did over there. You break it loose. And then typically, you don't want to drop your tools around, but stuff happens when you're wearing gloves. You're not really used to it. So now, this pedal here is coming off. Now, this pedal seems like you can see it a bit better, but that blue stuff on the threads, that's the grease that they use on the pedals so they don't over tighten and then just seize up in the cranks. So, let's get the next pedals open. So, I got the pedals out of the box, and these are the new ones over here. These are the old ones. Um, and just to comparison, you can see the new pedals are significantly bigger. So, they are somewhat heavier just because they're bigger. Um, these ones also have metal studs in them, and these ones just have plastic studs. Um, they're a little bit more of an aggressive design than these ones. They don't have reflectors that come with them. The old ones did, the new ones don't. Probably just for lightness and you're not really gonna be riding this on the road. So yeah, spindle feels good on both of them. This one's probably gonna be a little bit looser because I've been riding it. So once these ones wear in a little bit, it'll be a lot smoother than this. So now the next step is determine which pedal goes on which side and typically I think this one says left on it I'll have to find the other pedal and see if it says right but they're typically going to be marked so that you don't put the wrong pedal on the wrong side yes I was correct on this one here it says CR left or right it just has CR and then an R on it you guys probably can't see that and then this one here has a CR and an L. So this one will go on the right side and this one will go on the left side. Just so that the cranks get put on there properly. So the next step when you're putting on your pedals, you want to apply the grease. So this is the uh, left hand side. I'm going to do the right hand side first since the pedal's right here for me. Um, so this is the right hand side. So you're going to want to get your grease and just put a little tiny bit of it on where the pedal goes so 
I'll get a little bit of it coming out here. That's probably enough. So you want to get some of it on there just like that so that it's just kind of sitting on there. And then you can take your gloves or a paper towel or Jerry, not a terry cloth, that's what it's called. Just kind of wipe it in there so that it's not a big glob right in the middle. And then if you have a pair of, don't want to get that all gooped up. So I'm going to get a paper towel, just wipe my fingers off so that I don't have grease all over my fingers when I'm trying to use my tools again. And then this one is the right side, so it's going to thread onto this side. And it's going to go on the typical um, righty-tighty method. So righty-tighty the usual way. You want to make sure that you're not cross-threading it, so don't put it on with a tool right away. You're going to want to use your fingers to put it on a little bit so that you can make sure that it's actually going on the threads and not just jumping across threads and it's going to be a big mess. You'll have to buy a whole new crank set, probably new pedals to go with it. Um, so yeah, once that's on there, the grease is going to make it really slippery. So um, I made sure that it is actually threading on there properly. So I'm going to get my wrench. If you have a pedal wrench, it's going to work a lot easier for you. So you don't have to adjust it at all. Um, that's too loose. There we go. So now that that's on there properly, you're going to want to tighten it up, but don't death grip tighten it because you're going to possibly risk stripping out your cranks and that then your pedal is just going to be stuck in there or it won't tighten down all the way and then you just won't be having a nice day anymore. So once you get it on there close, but not quite tight, you can leave it like that for a little bit, or you can kind of tighten it down a little bit. I just did a little bit of tightening, so it's in there, it's not gonna come out. Um, and then you'll be able to still take it off in the future. But there's one pedal installed, it looks great on this bike. And it also looks like, yes, for these pedals, if you don't have a wrench to install them, you can actually get an Allen key in there to install them from the inside. So install them from this way in, basically. Um, so we're gonna hop onto the other side and install this one. So once again, on this side, it's gonna be reverse thread. So when you're trying to tighten this pedal up, you're gonna wanna go lefty tighty. Um, so the opposite of what that other pedal was. So once again, you just squeeze a little bit of grease out there. That's plenty. And then I'm just gonna dab a little bit of that on there. And I'm gonna make sure that I get the whole pedal, whole threads of the pedal greased up properly. Um, and then if you happen to get a little bit of grease on the pedal, you can just wipe that off afterwards. It's probably gonna happen. Um, you know, fixing stuff never goes exactly right. So then once again, don't use the tool to put it on there. Don't use the wrench or the pedal wrench to put it on there. Use your fingers. And then once that's actually going on there properly, you can use your wrench to tighten it on there. So here we go. A couple times around, you know, until the pedal is tight. Don't death grip tighten it. Just kind of tighten it down so that it's gonna not come loose on you on the trail. There we go. That's pedal number two installed. Now let's do a test ride. All right, so we're back here on my trails that I've made. Just to test the pedals, it's very snowy out, obviously. That's what this white stuff is. Um, so there's a little jump line down here that I made. This little jump here. All right, pedal forward, jump there. All right, these pedals handle it great. I know my other pedals weren't terrible, but they were a little bit sketchier than those. So happy to see that I didn't crash out on these. It is very cold out here today, so I'm not gonna film much more. I think it's just going to be this last run and then I'm going to head in. Alright, jump. 
we're gonna drop it. down around the corner here, up and down. Alrighty. These pedals are great. I think that they might actually be a little bit too grippy. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for watching my video. Um, if you liked it, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you guys very much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.